Hello everyone. So these days we have started uh, making videos on frequently asked questions with respect to manual testing, test automation. So first we are looking at the questions of the manual testing. So you can see one video was uploaded last week and then we have eventually started uploading videos with respect to manual testing specific scenario based questions. So today we are going to see how should you answer this test scenario based question which is related to search text box. Now, many times you might get the question like, how can you tell us the high level test scenarios? How will you test this particular search text box? Right. So when, when they are telling high level test scenarios of any functionality, any feature, so they are expecting that you will cover UI testing related test cases, sorry, scenarios, functional testing scenarios, then boundary value testing. How will you perform boundary value testing data correctness? Thing. then load and stress so this is related to performance search relevance and then search advanced features so these all test scenarios these all type of test scenarios you should cover whenever you are asked in an interview the question on search text box or search functionality search feature so many of the interviews you will see wherever they have got e-commerce based uh, domain e-commerce based projects so they will definitely ask you one or two question on the search text box related test scenarios. Okay, now let us look at what test scenarios you should tell. Okay, so these are a few of the test scenarios that we have listed, but if you feel that some test scenario should be added into the list, so please uh, feel free to comment in the chat box. Okay, so first of all, let us look at the search box related test scenarios. So does the search box shows search page without any search query so let's say if you don't enter anything and you just click on search button then what happens what does search page shows if you enter nothing and hit enter or press finder account? okay so over here it, it was clicking on search button over here it is pressing enter right then check if the search box is present or not that is the normal ui ux based scenario you can check if the search box length is as per the specification, as per the requirement, right? It should not be uh, too long uh, search text box that it exceeds the page also, right? Then you can check the characters allowed to be added into the search box, right? Then auto suggestions options are coming over there or not. Typo corrections based options are there or not. For example, instead of entering shirt, Right. Instead of entering shirt, you enter uh, shirty like that. Right. So is it is it giving you auto corrected option? Then does the search box allows searching with incorrect spellings? Check if the Amazon page offers default focus at the search box or not. So default focus when you navigate to that page is is giving you default focus at search box or not. Then search history related test scenarios, right? So does the search history page keeps history of your previously searched products, right? Over here, I have focused on Amazon. Similarly, it can be Flipkart or Mintra or any other website, right? Does the search history page offer you option to hide the history of previously searched products? Does the search history page offers matching products related to the search keyword? Does the search history page allow you to disable tracking the search completely? Is it possible to stop certain products search being featured? Right. It might happen that the products might not be available. So you might want to disable those particular search itself. Okay. Then uh, is it possible that the search history reverts back to the default setting in a new session? Right. So these are related to the search history. Now let us look at the sidebar search options okay now which are the various categories or options or filter that are available right are you able to uh, have a search page of, of option with offers pricing sorting from low to high high to low vice versa okay so over here you can see the sidebar options that is filtering is there sorting is there then again sorting with respect to price and sorting with respect to product. So product sorting with respect to reviews, category, condition of the product, it can be new, old, shipping options. Then sorting 
with respect to price. So as per the popularity, as per brands, you can also have sorting with respect to reviews, good reviews, bad reviews, average reviews, right? So these are the permutation and combination that we have applied in the sidebar search text box, test scenario. Next is responsive test scenarios. So does the search box appears on mobile now? In the requirement, in the interviewer might not tell you that it is web-based or it is mobile-based. But if he or she has not mentioned you mobile-based, then you should directly start telling about mobile-based test scenario. This would eventually help you to speak more in an interview, which is how you can convert, you can move the interview in your desired direction, right? That's how you can, you should answer. Then does the search box suggestions appear on the mobile or tablet? Does the search box offers drop-down menu on smaller devices? Does the search box offers category selector on mobile or tablet? Right. So these kind of search related test scenarios, high level test scenarios we have put over here. You can also have some more performance related test scenario like in what particular time duration and how much response time the search is giving you the options, right? This is one of the aspect. Another thing can be if multiple people are searching, then how much time it is taking. If you are doing concurrent testing with 50 users at a time with and they are searching same product at a time in that search box. Or the second scenario would be of the concurrent testing would be that if they are searching multiple products, multiple users, multiple products, multiple users, same product on the search. So that's how you can test. So these are very high level test scenarios, how you can test search functionality or feature. And this is how you have to tell these kind of test scenarios you have to tell in an interview if you get these kind of option, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and do let me know in the comment section, how did you like this video and what kind of other videos would you want us to make for you? So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more updates.